G'day guys, my name's Josh, you can call me Jill Woodle and welcome back to 7 Days and welcome back to my darker than usual office, I still haven't fixed the lights but that's okay because we are back playing the Australian Overhaul mod for 7 Days. It's Outback Roadies which sounds great, Roadies are fantastic, I love a cheeky Roadie, I love the Outback and I love 7 Days so... What is there to be sad about? Absolutely nothing. Especially when you can pat Sally over here. Pat, pat, pat. As much as I would love... Oh, there's still a hole in the wall over there. I'll probably fix that. As much as I would love to just hang out with Sal, scratch her behind the ears and do absolutely nothing else all day today, I should actually crack on. Because it is day six, which means I've only got a little bit of time before the Blood Moon Horde gets here. And given what's been happening recently, I can't imagine it's going to be a super straightforward horde. I'm anticipating there's going to be a lot of Australian animals, both venomous and aggressive and everything in between coming my way on the night of day seven. So I need to figure out something relatively quickly and get something cracking on. I need to do it fast. Broads, I'm going to need you to come with me, Hot Stuff, because there were those couple of uh, Oscomos who beat through that wall last night and they were walking this way. So I reckon... I reckon somewhere out there is the rest of that wandering horde. And I kind of want to just go hunting them. Not only because, you know... Ooh, good idea. Not only because I want to do my part to make Australia a better place and therefore... <sighs> Learning how to shoot is probably a good idea, but also taking care of the zombie menace is also a good idea. But I want to make sure there's no just random hordes cruising around. Because if I forget about that and I leave and they come after Sally, I'll never be able to forgive myself. And I think while I'm at it too, this might be the last midway clinic. Oh, and there's a working vendor in there. Gib. I feel like I feel like I'm that guy on a picket fence holding the bars and let me in because it's snacks and I really want the snacks. Let me into the Dorito bag. Plus, there's some books over there. But a working snack vendor across the road from my house. It that's a dream come bloody true. Quickly check the ambo for nothing much. I've already been through there. I didn't see anything really. There's a Tassie devil just cruising down the street. Just the things you see in Australia. And... No, no. Okay. I really thought they were going to be hiding out over here somewhere, but there's nothing to see. Never mind. Bro, it's all clear. This is another pretty good place, actually. These POIs... Mate, oh. Are you, are you right, bro? I haven't even got... All right, stop. I mean, well, okay, don't stop. You murdered someone. Congratulations. And I got the shared XP, so... <laughs> <laughs> I, I guess congratulations. I'm not sure who you shot or why you shot, but you definitely did something. But this pier was actually a really good little base location. It's all made of concrete. It's nice and strong. It can be reinforced. And there's no real easy way for zombies to path up here. I mean, it's, it, it takes a lot of work because it's very exposed, but it's actually a pretty good one. Oh, my goodness. Harvesting tools. <laughs> I, I'm lost for words. And it's me. That's how bloody excited I am about it. An unusual occurrence that happened at the goddamn eclipse. No. Har <laughs> Harvesting tools. Iron tools. Quality four. I'm frazzled. I'm razzled. I'm all sorts of fizzled. I can't even think of what I'm doing anymore. Of all places to find that book, that was not the place I thought it would happen. Not by any stretch of a rather long shot. Tazzy Devil's gone off as well somewhere else. Gone off to clean the gym for Space Jam. Right. I, I'm happy. I'm bloody happy, but I also want to raid this place because once this place is done, I can leave Townsville happily knowing that I've done everything I possibly could here. Trading's not open yet anyway. Not, you know, not for another half an hour or so, so still got time. Cheeky raiding here, cheeky job for trading, finish off the tier twos and... Oh, there's a frillo. There's a frilly. Hold on. Oh, jeez, I almost put all those pellets through your shoulder blade there, broads. You gotta watch out. You gotta stay out of my way. I definitely feel like the like the Baker was better with shotguns. Like, the AK's great and all, and I'm not complaining, because at least you're something, but I feel like they were definitely doing more with the shotguns, because they were getting up nice and close to just, like, the impact, the amount of damage they, was, uh, they were doing at any one time was so much more. Because you're ragdolling zombies, but you're not really killing them. 
So I reckon as soon as I, like, I mean, the first pumpy I find, because I'll be out of shotguns by then, I assume, I reckon I'll give it to Baker, give, give it to Brody the Baker and see what he can do with him. There's the door. Here we go. All right, keep up, Rhodes. Fast raid's good, raid. Oh, with all the books I need. <laughs> now I found the harvesting book. Watch this. They're going to be bloody everywhere. In fact, that wouldn't even be a bad thing. Any harvestings? Nope, just a zombie. Zombie gone. This is actually a tier 3 POI, so I should really give it the respect that it definitely deserves. You're gone. Not in the cupboard. No, we're fine. Lisa didn't have any, uh, any secrets stashed away. No skeletons or anything in them. Squeaky bloody clean as, well, as a doctor bloody should be. She's washed her hands. Nothing in you. Nothing in you. Is that even a Vegemite Sanger? No, it's just an old sham sandwich. <sighs> Not even Australian enough to have rotten Vegemite Sangers around the place, though in fairness, who has Vegemite sandwiches long enough to go moldy? They get eaten in a blink. Oh, it's a sketchy drop down. Sketchy drop downs always make me feel nervous, especially because Broads apparently just can't make it up the climbing rope. So I'm going to take you Brody. I'm going to chuck you down first. You're now the point baker. Good luck. Can I, can I even, I can't even bloody do it. All right, well, in that case then. Oh, there we go. Go, Brody. Go forth. Go forth and murder. I don't hear any machine gun fire, so I guess it might be relatively clear. Down we go. Check the loo first. Any waters? No waters. Just some hopefully not too soiled paper. <laughs> you, you, I know it's the apocalypse and stuff, but you got to be a whole new level of desperate to be wringing out someone's toilet paper that's been used and half flushed. Grim. Oh, jeez. G'day, Lisa. How you going? Bonk you. What are you doing, Brody? Brody's playing leapfrog with a bloody chair down there. There's no time for musical chairs, Broads. We can do that later. I got that next level up so I can put that into iron guts. Please stop me from going hungry and thirsty every four seconds. I see some books on the ground. I see a zombie in the bathroom. You can just stay in there and finish your business. <laughs> Make sure you're wiped thoroughly, because apparently I'm not too phased about that anyway. Ah, uh, some waters, no coffees, that's all fine. More cooking books. We've 32 cooking books already. So that's that's an insane amount of cooking books to have found in week one. It's it's definitely buffed. It has to be buffed. That's that's way too lucrative and way too good for just vanilla. Oh, come on, just vanilla looting finds. Is this the final room? What's the final loud uh, sound trap? You can just don't bother getting up. Nance as well. Oh, no, nah, I fumbled it. I fumbled it. I fumbled Nance. I wouldn't be the first, I'm sure. So there's a button. There's a bunch of dead bodies. Where's my baker? Oh, where is my baker? Come on, this way, please. Come on. There you go. I don't know, don't know what you were doing. Just standing out in the rain. <laughs> You're not even swinging around a light pole, are you? What are you doing? What? Explain yourself. Explain these actions. What is going on with you today? I don't think there's all that much more to be looted. I've done most of it. Another cooking book. I'm just doing everything I possibly can before I tickle that button. Metal desk. Another big hit is magazine, actually. 21. I'm not sure when um, I'm going to be able to make... Ooh, thank you. I'm not sure when I'm going to be able to make something better than the can... That, but I'm doubt it's gonna be too far in the future. That's all fine. You can stay like that. Didn't even search for lockers yet for to scrap you. That um that that hard hat's probably gonna last me for a little while. <sighs> okay. Alright. Broads, I hope you're ready. That didn't I was expecting everyone to come charging. I've already been through them. All right. Sit you. There shouldn't be... How are we on fire? How are we on fire immediately? Yeah, that's the way. Guns for the Splody Boys. Broads, good luck with that. Are you dead? You're not dead. You are dead now, though. You were having a mild heart attack, but I put the club in you and fixed it. Broads is off playing bloody... What is with you in that corner? Why do you keep trying to go that way? What, what are you hiding? What are you up to? I'm going to give all my shit to Brody for the moment. There's no, like, quick stack options. So just anything. Anything and everything. In you go. If you can hold, actually, most of that stuff. The building's mildly burning down, but I don't think there's two... Oh, no, we're fine. 
We're fine. It's a computer. Computers aren't notoriously flammable, so we're all good. Now nah, we're good. We're good. We're gravy. Nice. So I've got two pop and pills boxes. I wanted to check you though. You, sugar. No, I didn't bring any money. Why didn't you bring any money? You're supposed to stash some coins in your wallets if you need to get a trolley or something, Josh. Damn it. Do you have like 300 bucks in your purse? Boy, Trent, give me back my purse. No, because there's nothing in it. This might be the get of the century, though. If there's some money in the ATM, if I can get into the ATM, I could use that to buy the sugar butts and then have access to that vendor forevermore. If you actually want to let me in, please, because I'm really punching the shit out of my E key. There's the zeros. Beautiful. I mean, it's <laughs> you, you genuine old moldy cock shammy. I wanted 300 bucks, so you're like, here you go. Here's 300 dollar dues in an unusable currency. Fucking bonza. Love that. Although I still stand by that I think the vendors should use the old currency just because it makes more sense. Who's going around and retrofitting all the vending machines to use Dukes instead of um, like the old stuff? Pretty sure that's a note slot right there, but I just think that'd be a cool, a cool little use for old money. Uh, pop your open. What have you got? Ugh, gross. Scrappy for the parts, but I did get a vehicle book. I can now make a mini bike. I mean, why would I though? What? I guess it'd be better for like fuel consumption, but I mean, the Jeep's got so much storage though. It's so good. It's so hard to say no to. Make sure I check the magazine shelf before I go. Nothing in here anyway. I'll take the plants. I didn't, I didn't actually check the big boy box for another vehicle. I time scope bought some ammo. And I got most of my lock picks back. All right. That's actually not too shabby in the end. I'll take all of you. Come on there, bros. We're, we'll have to go see Trady to see where he's going to send us for the day. But we're done. The whole town, all of Townsville has been looted except for, except for that. Well, I mean, clearly, maybe I'll do my own mission. Maybe I'll go there by myself. Because, I mean, got to tick off every box, right? I have, I have to have it all done. I also hadn't even touched the police car yet, but I picked the lock, so there should be no horde coming in. I can... Oh. It always makes me happy. It always makes me feel nice inside, like I've just eaten a rather suspect brownie. Triple storage pocket mod. I was going to say, I can see... A frill neck lizard just cruising about over there. Go then. Oh, I was going to say, it's a tiny fucking target, but back yourself. You fucking what? You fucking what, Woodle? What side of whose bed did you wake up on to apparently have talent today? And can you please do it more often? I'm going to take most of the stuff that I need to sell. I do need to go actually go back to the, um... Oh, hang on a second. I still want to get all the stuff out of Bloody Bros. Need to go back to the, uh, the clinic and get the sugar butts out of the vendo then. Make sure I put everything away into you and into you and into you. Definitely got to hold on to that purifier mod. That might come in handy later on. You go in there. You can all go into them. How's my cooking going? Take all of that. I've also, ooh, also got some pumpkin cheesecake for some big expenditures later on. You're still cooking. You need a little bit more fuel. There you go. I oh, know, sir. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Pat, pat, pat. I've been doing other things. I hadn't been patting the dog. Get it together, Josh. Get a hot stuff. With me, Let friend. me tickle your beard and see what you got for me today. You've got... Uh, they're all a long, long way away. A long, long way away. Buried supplies to the southwest, which actually... I mean, that's straight to the south. Which one's going to be closer? I'll check you, because southwest is... Well, out towards WA, Western Australia. Easy way to tell which way is what. And I'm in Townsville, so they're not really the way that I want to go. Great. I'll take the buried supplies, because... But it's kind of the way I wanted to go anyway, to go to the military compound. Not a bad idea, but real fast then. So I want to get rid of all my looting gogs. I might want to keep one of them. I'll keep you, and I'll sell all the rest of them. But you're not worth much, but you're worth something to me. Take that, take all of you. Because I am thinking, if I'm going to want to go on some big adventure pretty soon, I'm going to need to make sure I have some petrol. Petrol, usually pretty handy for driving cars, and I don't have a lot of it. I'm not going to buy it all. I'll just buy like 2500 for two grand. Probably could have used the cheesecake for that, but oh well. I'll take you. I'll take you. I'll take the waters. At oh. You have a proper chem station? Fuck! For $3,500? 
I was never even close to getting that, to be perfectly honest. I was never even within a scratch of making that work. Would have been bloody nice, though. Would have been very bloody nice. Um, anything else, though? Coffee, spuds, can of chili, forgetting elixir. Don't have the money for that anyway. I will take your bullet tips, and I will take... Is there anything else? I didn't... Oh, I didn't make my bloody tools! Josh! You had all night and all morning to do that, and you completely gapped it. Thanks why are you like this? Why do you here. do this to yourself? Why do you? Why are you always such a disappointment to yourself? I'm gonna go back and make it, but look at that! I put all that fuel that I just bought into the buggy, and then it gave me 30% fuel. I already had 10% in there, so what? So 2,500 is actually that kind of makes sense. What 10% is a thousand, so like a liter per 10%. All right, I guess I, I guess I can kind of live with that. I guess uh, you can have that one back and that one back. I couldn't sell them and the dollar readers as well. The rest of you can go wherever you might be needed to be gone. That goes in. That goes in. All right, tools. I need. In fact, I need the iron shovel first because I'm gonna go use that to dig up the treasure. So I'll get you going. That's gonna take two and a half minutes. And while you're cracking on, I'll need some ducky tapies, please. The clackiest tape you can make. And after you're done with that, iron fire axe. And I guess an iron pickaxe. And I kind of need them both, don't I? I guess I need them both. I'm not actually gonna have enough iron to make both of them. So I'm gonna go with the fire axe. It's definitely more useful to me right now than what the pickaxe is gonna be. And after you're done with that, I will need a bellows as well, please. Get you on the go. I mean, I could make more forge too, but I have to smell things into you, then smell it out of it again later. I think I'd rather just wait till later, or even just go break some things down for... How much more... How much more did I need for you? I needed... Okay. So, 23? Where do I get forged iron from? I get it from a few places. I've been breaking most things down, but yeah, I reckon I can find that. Oh, I can find 23 forged iron around the place, sure. My shovel's done, beautiful. Come with me, please. Gonna immediately change over for those mods. Not even gonna bother checking the stats, because if it's worse, I don't wanna know, because I'd cry. You can go back to them. All right, uh, bros, you can actually come with me again. Sorry, sir, pat, pat, pat. Enjoy your little snuggly rug. Back to the thing, uh, the, the buggy we go. The thing. Couldn't remember the bloody word for buggy. Come on. There's a lot of soggy noodles upstairs and not a lot of doing anything. Uh, I so hate going bush bashing in this thing. It's just, the ground's real choppy and it's not... You know what? No, I was going to run the last 200 meters. It's just not good at getting up and over things. Broad's doing something suspicious with the rear suspension. I always knew you were an ass man, Brody. Fair play to you too. Oh, it's a platypus! Oh, it's a platypus! Run, Brody! Run! Run away! <laughs> oh, man! There's secret agents out here, mate. You gotta be careful. There's a zombie guarding the, uh, the buried supplies. But are you trying to dig this up, too? You got sledgehammer hands, but it's gonna take you a while. <laughs> no, that's a lie. You'd find it quicker than I would. Zombies can dig like there's no tomorrow. Now, I don't know how this is actually gonna work. So, Brody, can you please... Guard and return to where I'm sitting. Hey, yeah. So guard this area, please. Wait, did you just shake your head at me? Guard. Nah, okay. Yeah, you're all good. So if something happens, I'm gonna need you to defend me because I feel like this is gonna be different to how I expect it to be given it's an overhaul mod. I don't think I want to start a little bit closer to the edge. We'll go there and we'll start digging down that way. Just please find it quick. Find it quick so I can get back home again. Because, jeez, it's already quarter to three. I think this one, yeah, that one is gonna bring in the circle a bit. Does it, so it's, it's called in two, I guess? I can't go too far away. You're gone, you're gone too. Good job, bros. Look at that nice little sentry gun. Smart gun, he's got his own brain, his own trigger finger. So I don't need to do quite as much. Tell you what, going up to this shovel though was a good decision. Not too far away from one popping it. Oh, that'll do us. That'll do us. Buried food stash. Let's go up and back out that way. Not a bad little wicket, to be honest. I'll read you. I'm a little bit thirsty, so I'll drink you straight away. And I'll just take the rest of it. And up and out the burrow we go like a happy little wombat. Which actually, come to think of it, I haven't seen any wombats yet. Seen a lot of things, haven't seen a wombat. And wombats are pretty bloody vicious. Maybe now I'll dug a burrow for one. It'll just come over and start living here like a bloody furry yabby. 
You're gone. You're good. You can now follow me. We'll have to go back and get our car back again. Look at that. That was a nice little raid by us. Well done. <laughs> the dream team. Brodes and Woodle. Oh, Brody. What is going on over here? You're fighting a flying spider, bud? That's... Of all things I expected to see when I turned around, that was absolutely not one of them. Oh, he saw me. He saw me with his beady red eyes and I puckered. Absolutely puckered. Bonza, mate. Level up. Is there a skill to not pucker quite so easily? Because I definitely like one. I will go machine gunner, given how often I'm using them. Iron guts on two. Where'd you go, spider? Where? There you are. There you are. I still need all your parts, please. Thank you. You made out. Oi! There's another thrilled neck lizard. Jeez, it's just it's non-stop. There's wildlife everywhere out here. Before I go back and hand in that buried supplies, I am going to hit up the last POI in Townsville. I was going to grab all the goo off the road. Thank you. I just, oh. What are you? Jeez, you've seen some better days. I mean, most of the zombies in this game have. That's a different kind of zombie. Broats. We murdered the rare one. That was a special infected. We put him down. I'm not sure what you are or who you are, but you're definitely not getting back up again. You know what? I, I, just, I don't have the time. I don't have the time. You can all just please wake up, come out, be counted, and be bonked. That will make my life so much better. I'm going to hit your weird little waggly tentacles you got going on them. Because you're trying to beat through the sides. I'm not really sure what's going on with you. Yeah, bro. Do you take the left? I'll take the right. Gone. And gone again. All that for a mo power box. Jeez. There was there was a lot of zombies in here. There's a roo fucking up a zombie down there. <laughs> kind of brings a tear to your eye. I'm swelled with national pride. But unfortunately, I don't want to have the same thing happen to me that happened to that zombie. So nice and clean, if you wouldn't mind. Broads. I mean, I, I, I suppose you want to save me ammo, but you just stole my kill. What is this? Call of Duty? Come on, mate. Come on, mate. Let me have my moment. Thank you, Roo. But I should really be saving my ammo more, given I do have a horde coming up and not a lot of things to pepper out. Oh, now what are you shooting? Now what are you shooting? Oh, it's another Roo that's doing something. I don't know what, but I'm going to sacrifice your health to try and save my ammo. <laughs> it's definitely a choice. Oh, no. No one's looking at me. I don't want to sacrifice my health under yours. Brutes. Brutes. Yep, yeah, nah, thank you. Thank you. Take his attention. Thank you, Brody. Although you're getting absolutely messed up. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. And there's some spiders involved in that as well. Ah, uh, where was that coffee? I'm going to need that coffee for my stamina regen. Chuck that in. Brody's just getting into it. Walking straight in. Guns are blazing. You're a brave boy, Brody. You're a bloody brave boy. It's just non stop. It's hard, oh, it's hard to tell what zombies are dead and what are alive because they're all just piling up on top of each other. Brody's got half of them going his way. But hang on a second. Hang on a second. I need to get over to Brody faster. Can I get like some double kills? A, a tick or two, I don't think I killed two. Oh, <laughs> Brody, you should have stayed with me. His health's going down. The room fucked him up, but I can't come help you. You're too far away from me, champion. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm here, Brody. We're all good. We're all fine. Yep, use the shovel into your AK. I'm sure that'll work bloody fine. You need to go. That one's still up and going. Definitely gone now, though. Loz. Loz bad. And Nance. And one more spider. You're the least spidery spider I've seen in a long time. Nance. Not going to ask again there, love. Okay. So that got pretty rowdy pretty quickly, didn't it? Only two loot bags as well and a refresh on my coffee. I was really worried you were going to go chasing through the landmines like they were daisies. In fact, I'm still worried about that. So how about... How about you just stay with me and let me handle this for a moment there, hot stuff? I um, I don't want to lose you to a boom. I can hear something beating on something out... Oh, on something out there. I wasn't sure what it was. It's just one lowly loza. Oh, I shanked it. It always goes down and right, so then... Missed that one again. I think you might actually be like the last one left of the Wandering Horde. There might be some more out there, but I don't really want to go and find them. I'll take you... And I'll take you. And actually, I completely forgot because lost will distract me. I just found Chlamydia. Bunker Buster Metal Chain. I reckon I'll put you in there instead of that one. Change you over for you. There we go. 
<laughs> the power of koalas now we really are getting involved in australia that's all she wrote everything's done it wasn't much of a poi but it was a raid there might be some things left over. Oh, I forgot you. That's bloody silly of me. Might be some things left over in the uh, in the trench, but I'm not really interested. Chuck on a bandana. I don't have a cigar, which means I can now put Broads back on his two little feet. See, no more piggybacks for you there, hot stuff. You good? Pat, pat, pat. Right in the schnoz. All right, let's go see Trading. Hand that quest. We'll have time for one more. Oh, I'm turboing. Why are you turboing? You're just wasting petrol. Swing you about and getting nice and fast. If this isn't the last one of the tier twos, I'll try and punch another one. Not confident though, that's not a lot of time. He's not offering much, he's offering some pipe bombs, some coal, and some painkillers. I'll take the pipe bombs, because they might come in handy. It wasn't the last one. Might come in handy. Oh, because it was a tier one. No wonder. <sighs> They're all so far. They're way too far. That's going to be Duke's general. That's going to be... Basically down in Brizzo. I can't do it. I can't do it, mate. I can't bloody do that for you. I'm going to cancel you. Do you have like another T1 or something I can do? 300 meters to the southwest. Buried supplies? Or I'm going to try and do it. I don't think it's going to tick off the like the quest here, but I might be get some more Molotovs or maybe some like books or something. You never bloody know. Oh, the are a Chucky Yui. They're indeed a Chucky Yui. We're fine. Here's the spot. Don't go down the next little tier. Because the map is based on a topographical map. Uh, actually, come over this way, please. Or oh, fuck her up, I suppose. If you want to, I can see... Something. I saw something wriggling... In... I think that's a drop there. I'm going to stay away from that. Oi, Brody, come over here and protect me, please. Get the rage one out if you need to. I forgot what I was saying now. Oh, yeah, because like, the map is based on a topographical map. It's not like a custom-made one. It's just, like, converted across. All of, like, the ridge lines, it's very... There's, like, smooth transitions. Um, you can stay guarding, please. There's something else happening down there as well. Gotta go faster. Gotta go faster. But, yeah, there's no, like, smooth transitions, which was pointed out to me in a comment that I, I didn't really realize why that was, but someone smarter than me definitely pointed that out to me. Uh, so thank you for that one. But yeah, it means I'm going to try and avoid using my uh, Jeep to go down those little cliffs where I can. Because it's not smooth getting back up. Oh! Alright then, I'll take that. Found it nice and quickly. I'll read you straight away. I'll take the rest and up, uh, up we go. It was basically directly underneath me. Yeah, looking, they're looking pretty angry. Looking pretty bloody angry. Oh, I'm pretty bloody shit at whiffing me bat. Hold up. No sizzle. No sizzle on any of your stakes. You're already gone, though. I did see a crawler out, out there somewhere. There you are. Oh. All right. Well, you weren't that much of a foe then, were you? I swear, it's the wildlife, man. The wildlife is what's going to get you. Pull up nice and fast right about there. Beautiful. All right, let's make this quick jolly boy. I don't have a whole heap of time. In fact, I have very little time. You're closing shop very soon. Many you. You've proved to be very no Molotovs, no bombs, Here's no books. Name. And a barber and book that I don't need. All right, mm, I'm going to take the gunpowder. None of that's really giving me any sort of fun feeling. So I'll take you. There's no point taking a job from it. Although... I might actually take that... Already cancelled the fetch and clear. Maybe I'll try and grab a job from you tomorrow then down in Brisbane. Because after the horde, I'll be leaving this place and heading south. So actually, you're going to restock tomorrow as well. So maybe I'll get lucky and have a job nearby. Maybe I can punch out a cheeky quest before the horde gets here. I left Brody. I left Brody. I left Brody in the middle of fucking nowhere. Broads! I can't even blame you because it's my own bleeding fault. God damn it. Now I'm wasting fuel to come pick your sorry ass up. What is this? Fucking Uber? No. I'm not super sure where I left him. I'm pretty sure it was down here somewhere. There's a roo hopping about just over there. Where are you? Brody. Here, boy. <laughs> where? What? Oh, there's something climbing a tree. It looks... What actually is that? I... Okay, it's a platypus. The rare tree climbing platypus. Fair enough. I don't know how your web, cre uh, your web feet even grip onto the bark, but apparently they do. 
Where the shit? Where the shit did I leave Brody? I don't have my inventory. I didn't pick him up. No, I didn't. Where? Oi! Broads! Get in the blood car! I've been driving around in circles and I just can't find him. And it's... Oh, it's about to be night time as well. Um... Oh, oh, I didn't come down here though. I've lost him. I've lost my baker boy. Broads! Where are you, champion? I just... I just want to take you home so, we, so you can snuggle with our pet dog. We've got a dog together. You can't abandon Sally like that. Um, I I don't know. Uh, there's an Arlene there. I saw some movement. I got excited, but no, that's not the one. It needs to be like a recall button. I put you in guard mode. You did such a good job. You're such a good uh, guard baker. But now it's time to come home, bud. It's time to come home. I'm going to have to break the news to Sally. Now to break the news to Sally Dog that Broads has been lost in the forest at night in the Australian Outback. Grim. Absolutely grim. I don't think he's making it home. I don't think he's making it home. I, I wish I was an idiot. I wish I was a Muppet. I mean, wish come true, but I wish he was just in my pocket somewhere. And I've lost him. I've lost him, Sal. Sal. Listen. I'm very sorry. I'm sure he loves you very much. He'll be home tomorrow, but Broads isn't coming home tonight. He's just, he's just out. He's just gone up to the farm upstate. It's fine. I'm sure he'll be back again. Pat, pat, pat. For tonight, it's totally me. That's fine. You and me is how it started, and it's got to be okay. Got a bunch of coffees on the cook. Got some waters. Got some glues. That's all looking bloody lovely to me. You're now done. Put the bellows into you. Oh, I mean... All right, fine. All right, fine. Look, I didn't want to do it because I'm going to have to undo it later on, but I've got a whole other day here, so may as well. I'll take you and you. I'm going to need double the iron to the clay. So we'll go like that. Uh, it's going to smelt up nice and quick. In you go. All right, you. <laughs> now I've got the bellows and at least the anvil as well. I can actually make it pretty quickly. So I needed... What was it? Was it another 23? No, 27... Uh, more forged iron to make myself the next axe, which is fine. You can go there. I'm going to grab one of you out. In fact, can I make... Can I make anything? Can I make anything to make my axe even better again? I've got some more ergo mods. I just need the glue, which got some more coming. Yeah, okay. One of those into each. It'd be looking pretty lovely. I'm going to leave that to do all of its smelting. I'm going to sit over here with Sally Dog. Pat, pat, pat. I don't... Oh, actually, can I make... Chair chair ugly chair i can make an ugly chair it's gonna take 15 seconds but it's all right sally's got a kennel i'm gonna need my chair next to the fireplace as well it's gonna be a right sal and it's gonna be a right brody will come home tomorrow i'm so annoyed i wish there was like a thing like you know we can say like guard this area i wish there was like a hot key to be like all right i take it back now you can come home again because it just i always bloody forget it that's the perfect spot for the chair too you can go there, right next to Sally Dog. All right, we're okay. We're all right. So tomorrow is day seven, though. So it's going to be the Blood Moon Hordes. So I assume there's going to be a lot of critters, a lot of animals, and a lot of bad news coming my way. But I've got Molotovs, I've got bombs, and I've got base building know-how. So hopefully I'll manage to get through. But I'll have to come back. Find Brody, do a job, face the Blood Rune Horde, and leave Townsville probably forever in the next episode because this episode is done. So thank you guys for watching. Most of all, thank you to the patrons of Patreon who made this episode possible. If you liked, make sure you hit the like button down below, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter. If I don't talk to you there first, I'll see you in the next episode. Have a good one.